Now, your extended weather forecast brought to you by Reister and Schnell. Well, it no doubt goes without saying we really need some rain and hey, good news. We had some on Thursday, a few spotty showers Friday and now more rain this weekend. Now, as of Thursday, before that rain moved through in Green Bay, we were uh, just over an inch for the month uh, in terms of rainfall. And at this point on Thursday as well, we were just over six inches below average for the entire year in terms of rain and melted snow. So things were getting awfully, in fact, extremely dry here across the state of Wisconsin. Now things at least getting a little bit better. We just don't need all this rain at once. We were really hoping we can spread this out over the next few days. Temperatures uh, also well above average for this time of the month. In terms of precip, things are actually not terrible across north central Wisconsin into the UP, but the rest of us well into that uh, below average category. In fact, many areas anywhere from one to two and a half inches below average, things even drier uh, across Minnesota and Iowa. That's where they are under a moderate to even severe drought for much of Minnesota, Iowa, things even worse than that extreme to exceptional drought category across North Dakota. Here closer to home, we've seen that moderate drought uh, in, uh, move northward closer to Brown County encompassing most of the southern half of the state. However, far southeast from Wisconsin under that extreme drought where Milwaukee as of Thursday approaching eight inches below average for the year. Again, here in Green Bay, just over six inches below average for precipitation. Looking ahead the next uh, 10 days, it looks like we'll get a little more active weather back in here. So could be picking up a few inches of rainfall over the next week to week and a half and looking further out the eight to 14 day outlook. Things looking a little wetter south and east of Wisconsin, a little bit drier where they need the rain, unfortunately, to the north and west and temperatures looking seasonal if not slightly above average as we head over the next week to two weeks.